Hey, welcome to my new column. This one is called Mega Riffs, and I am going to show you some killer riffage based off of the style and reminiscent of Dave Mustaine and Megadeth. Check it out. <laughs> All right, so the first riff is in the key of E. It's got a cool hammer-on pull-off motif at the beginning of it that turns into an alternate picked part. And then I alternate the next note. The ending of this riff is a down-picked chord in every instance when this riff starts. Check this out. So it goes like this in full. Okay, you want to emphasize nice tight power chord at the end. Moving on, same exact notes except the chord changes from E to F sharp. Same exact thing again except the chord is a G. So it's almost the melodies, it's happening a lot with the, with the power chords, which is a little bit of reverse if you think about how, how different guitar riffs are commonly built. And now the riff ends with two similar motifs moving up the scale. To finish up this riff, I go back to the first part. This next riff is a classic mid-90s Megadeth style, and instead of playing straightforward power chords, I do a little more intricate melody notes. So the great thing about this riff is that if you played it straight out in power chords, it will we'll have, we'll have a sound that goes like this. Right, which is pretty boxy standard stuff. But what the band is amazing is about orchestrating it and sneaking in all these notes that you have a really nice, pleasant sound that still suggests the chords that it's playing. So, let me break this down for you. Okay, so I'm starting off on E, but I'm playing single notes like this. Okay, so you see how I sort of, I kind of allow this E chord to kind of sound dirty in some way. See how it sort of has got a really cool dark transition. When I play this, I'm playing a C, tr C major triad, but when this riff develops and con continues, I'm suggesting a C sharp major triad, which it's, it's basically weird but if you play it correctly, actually it's got a really cool sound. Do you see how when I play this C sharp, I lightly hit the fourth string, this F on this, so I don't bang it out, right? I suggest 
I almost suggest that there's a power chord there. I let these notes, these harmonics blend together. And the tail end is D major, E minor. You could add a little harmonic with your picking hand to, to make the riff um, sing at the end. Yeah. 